You know it's gonna be a good episode when you get the fishing pole out. Heck, you was burning. <laughs> Damn it. You did! Oh god! Oh, oh. Enjoy your prison, nerds! No! Feel the hoe! I don't approve. Hey, welcome back guys. We're gonna get back into this very quickly. As you can tell, I've done a little bit of work. We have like an armor stand up. That's just holding leather armor. It just gives me like some perks. We're gonna be switching to that armor here in a second. Uh, I started putting down a map just to kind of fill out our general area. Set up like a tiny bit of automation on our cookers and stuff. So nothing crazy. We got the cartography table down. We're gonna get back into this. And seeing as how it is 1136, the same day this video is going to come out, um, we need to get started. I had originally planned on making uh, the library, the library we've been working on, and I realized we have a problem with the library, and that is obsidian. I can't mine obsidian yet. We can't use diamond yet. Even if we come into here and we look at diamond tools, we need gathering 40. So, the only other thing we could possibly do is we could try out another tool that I made. I came in here like I said I would and just got a bunch of advancements. And one of them was the sapphire pickaxe. So, we're going to try the sapphire pickaxe. We're going to see if that works and if it doesn't work... We're going to shift gears, and because I am tired, we are going to make the greatest video uh, of all time. And it's going to be super exciting, and we're all going to have a great time. Does this work? That? Nope. <laughs> ah, tricky, tricky. All right. So, I've made the, um... Oh, I'm on break. I made the discount ring i went ahead and i just made the greater discount ring yeah, it was just some more of the same crafting so spells are a lot cheaper and this light spell is so cheap now so even without night vision we can just kind of spam this uh this spell how much how much magic can we get in one bar let me see it's still just going that was, that was a lot. It was like a hundred, easily a plus hundred to magic. Okay, that's cool. Uh, anyway, back to what we were doing before I was so rudely interrupted. So we did that as well. I just went over and we crafted that. There's another block we need to try out. A regular of mine was telling me about it. Buckley, thank you so much. We're going to try it. Oh my god, we can make this. I retract my previous statement. And because of our vein miner... It's treating obsidian like an ore. That's actually really cool. Right. We made it back up. Let's put this stuff up really quick. Let's go ahead. Let's make this thing. Oh my god, I'm so happy to have this. Like, legit, I'm I'm over the moon to have this thing, finally. Oh, yeah, you know what would probably help? Uh, if we actually made the eyes. Alright, four eyes of ender. Four ender chests. Now we have the Enchanted Library. Oh, I'm, I'm legit happy. Uh, all right. So, come down here. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to slap this over here. And then what we can basically do is just... And now all of those are in here. All those books are in here. And as we put more of things in, they will actually start to stack up. Alright, they're all in there. Let me see. What do we have for efficiency? We have one level. We have one efficiency book. That's terrible. Yeah, I don't know what's up with the fireworks and the magma cream, but they just show up in every storage I open. I'm sure we have a ton in here. Oh, we actually don't. Anyway, so, besides the map, the, the reason we made the map 
I made the map and did it was because A, I think they, they make really cool carpets, but B, I was going through all these quests. I'm breaking four, that's nice. Yeah, and this kind of explains how it works. And basically, you put enchanted books in, and you could just pull them out later. And it'll just store all the enchanted books. So, we'll throw this in. But, <laughs> I was going around, just kind of working on gathering and mining yesterday. And to finish off a couple of levels, realized I could come in here and just start knocking some things out. And we did this one. That's why we did the map. So, I took that same idea and started going through some of these other chapters. And the reason I said we're making the greatest episode ever is because I found this fishing section. And we're going to go fishing. We're going fishing for a whole episode. And we're just going to see how high we can get our fishing skill. Oh, my fishing rod is actually still over here. So... We got a bunch of worms, hook, all that good stuff. We're going to go ahead and absolutely not make an episode about this. Absolutely not. I will fish on my own time. That's very boring. What we're actually going to do is uh, we're just going to knock out the Twilight Forest. I wasn't kidding when I said I was fairly tired today. Uh, so I would rather keep it simple. We're going to go. We're going to do a bit more questing. I'm going to show off a couple other things that I made. Uh, I genuinely think if we just did some clearing here, that would be fine. We're going to knock out a bunch of quests, all the big... We're going to knock out a bunch of the big dudes and just see how much of the Twilight Force we can kind of get done in one go. It's not the first time I've done this, nor even the first time we've streamed this. But I ha I did, in my adventures, I found this. Half-Hearted Lucky Shoe Horse. And what this does is, there's no fall damage. When we leveled up our book as well, I added on... Uh, a uh, lovely little uh, flinging spell. So now we we can go ahead and get around with this thing. If we added the paraglider to this, it would be that much better. But for now, it works. Let's see how much better we can do this fight. All right, where'd he go? There he is. We need more Naga scales and other quests. So, yeah, we're just gonna go through the... <laughs> ah, he's got a scrap of health. Ow! Hey, get back here. Come here. Hey, ooh, an ice shard. What is the ice shard? Uh, ice shard provides you with Frostwalker. All right, nice. So, that was quick. We should have enough Naga scales to make the armor now. Um, let's head back over the next section. So, we've done this before. The Naga is your first fight. Like, that's absolutely your first fight. Uh, we need to look out for chests. We're gonna go into the Lich Tower, but we can now knock this quest out as well. And, obviously, if we see houses or sheep or anything like that, we're gonna grab that stuff because it's all important. Let's also actually kind of look for a magic map. Now that, like... Now that we actually have the, these spells, and these spells are actually starting to go, uh, yeah, like, actually getting into a bunch of this stuff is gonna be, like, no problem. Oh. And one of the other nice things, we can just offhand it and just spam spells around, lighten up our rooms. So, let's see what loot we can find. The main thing I'm looking for is actually paper. This is, like, the worst tower. There's, like, no side areas. Like, I searched that one side area, and we've just been going up this. Like, there's the lich right there, and there's, like... Okay, yeah, no, we're dead. We're gonna go search another lich tower. This lich tower sucks. There we go. And nothing. Great, thanks. That was a lot of work for nothing. <laughs> I do not expect good loot in this. Like, all I want is some paper. Little bit of paper is all I'm, like, interested in. Alright, I tried doing it the legit way. We're just, we're just busting in. Dungeoneering. No idea what that is. Uh, sadly, an empty map does not help here. Sage is blessing. I'll take that. Yeah, let's grab some books. 
Alright, let's fight him. Alright, so basic idea, find the actual one, hit back, hit all the ender pearls. So you see how this is red? That's a fireball. We hit him enough, his shield's gone. Now we can just kill him. God, the rapier. The rapier is too strong. All right, what did we get? We got the zombie scepter. We got the lich trophy. Uh, We got a gold helmet. That's pretty nice. Ooh, magic protection, fire focus, surprise gift. Ooh, I'd actually really like to pull the enchantments off of those ones. Ooh, I like some of these new... <laughs> Okay, all right, we get a Spongebob reference. Why do I like I don't like that like I liked it at first and I, as the more I looked at it the less I liked it So let's see if we can find some paper in this one We're gonna need it for the maze Don't worry if you can't see I can't either Pulled away. Saw it was broken. It's fixed now. Who is playing music? Oh, yes, paper. Okay, we are getting paper. You! Get. Okay. <laughs> are you still down here? Oh, God, where'd he go? Where did you go? Oh, there you are. Get over here. Freaking hell. Oh my god, this one's stronger. Yo, he's taking some hits too. There we go. Ah, he didn't drop it. Piercing. That's all right. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay, finally. To the east. Where is it? There it is. I see it. Oh, yes. We get some revenge. All right. Uh, we should still keep an eye out for raven feathers, though. Okay. Luckily. Uh, this is not normal. I will take this, though. Hmm. I don't know what that was supposed to be. Alright, uh, I think I see the way down. Surprisingly, not finding many, um, treasure rooms. We need a map focus. Uh, actually, before we move on any further, this is what we're doing right here. Yeah, we need a map focus. We need the Meef, which comes from the boss. We need his axe, which is a guaranteed drop. So these two are guaranteed. Same with this. These two are not guaranteed. And uh, so far, our luck is uh, not helping. Here we go. Here's the first one. All right. So you could see the trip wires right there, so we could just do this. Uh, de definitely taking Blaze. 
Uh, yeah, that's it. All right. How bad is this? Ooh, that's not good. <laughs> uh, we can see if this works. I doubt this will work. Oh my god, it works. Uh, so we're gonna be able to very easily check for the maze breaker. We'll, uh, we'll get there when we get there. So we're not gonna need the map focus. Normally you need the map focus to, uh, actually find the secret chests. But because the mini-map on this is way, way too powerful, uh, we don't need to worry about that. Same with our spells. Holy crap, I cannot believe that's actually working. Here it, here it is. All right. Uh, okay, yeah. I was like, there's one more over here we can check. Charm of keeping. We're gonna actually need a bunch of these. So. Alright. Uh. Ow. Yo. Okay, first off, why is everybody special? so far oh my god yes oh that's the best so oh I put a couple of points specifically into getting enchanted keys for this reason the spider eyes all right oh here it is you can actually see it on the map right there's the uh that take that uh yeah we found the maze breaker room it's right here so carefully even though we can do this with magic now one yes oh we got it oh all right you know what the luck came around grab some of that what do we got prot two um well our boots are broken so you know what we'll grab that one too why why not Ooh, a punch and infinity bow i will take it oh all right yeah so same as last time i'm just gonna hang out over here let him come to me. Oh, he I forgot he could break those. Sometimes he breaks it, sometimes he doesn't. Oh, he's got Arctic. God dang it. Alright, just watch my health and uh, we should be good. Alright, he did. Give me the mushrooms and that back. Thank you for the axe. Thank you for the head. Where's the meef? Oh, hey, there's the map focus. All right, we just needed to touch it. Got some charms of keeping. Wait, did he not drop the meat? Oh, duh, it's right there. All right, we do need to eat one of those. We'll take that. Some more maze wafers. The maze wafers are just going to be food for a while. That's the only reason I'm grabbing them. Yep, there it is. All right. So, if you've ever done the Twilight Forest, we all know that the center... So we need to go straight east. Uh, all right, I ate the Meef. So the Meef gains us access into the Hydra's area. So that was the whole reason to do that, is like that's how the progression works. Uh, if you don't do that and you go into the Hydra's area, there's like fiery rain. You get set on fire just by existing in there. All right, our clothes are okay, except for the pants. So here is the lovely Hydra. 
So you see that right there? That's how you're supposed to fight him. You avoid that. Look for the smoke out of the mouth. See, that's going to be a fire breath. About that. And I think you're actually supposed to hit it at his body like this. Watch. See, it does a little bit of damage. But with their mouths open, if you can actually get them low enough, you can... Yeah, it, he does hurt. If you're not careful, he does hurt. <gasps> Did they fix it? They fixed it. You can't do it anymore. No, I, are you telling me I can't abuse? Oh, that sucks. I used to just run in and just hit him with a sword. Because I could, like, out DPS. Come on. Come on. Oh, well, we just killed the head. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha! Hydra Slayer. All right, what did we get for it? Uh, oh, we get some fiery blood. We get, yep. Nothing crazy. But that's a pretty good spot to end it there. Uh, we'll do the rest of the Twilight Forest uh, next episode, and then we'll move on to some further stuff. So I will catch you guys in the next episode. Have a good one.